Well, now that we have the display connected and working, uh, we're going to see if we can figure out what to do about the controls. I bought this uh, control board. Here, how well this will show up. Um, I'll put a link for it in the description. I can't pronounce the name of the company that makes it. But essentially, it's got all of our buttons for the original Game Boy. A, B, start, select, right, down, up, left, and common ground. Now that is going to correspond to our GPIO harness, which I've already gone ahead and separated these out and tagged them, you know, U for up, L for left, uh, there's the start button wire, uh, what else we got here? Basically all the buttons we need at that point. Um, as well as two extra buttons that are not going to be part of this. But anyways, this just original Game Boy case. This essentially will fit in right here. It's one way or another. There we go. It basically fits in right there. And obviously we'll have the buttons in here and all the rubbers. Those will be from the original Game Boy, which is over there. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this yet. It mounts like this inside. So I'm thinking I'm, thinking I'm going to solder from the top down and bring my wires up uh, right through the bottom here, essentially. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll just try to figure this out. And, um, I went ahead and pre-stripped these already. So really it's just a matter of matching the wire tag with the port here. And this harness, this is not the good working pie. This harness just clips on right here, essentially, on those pins. But let's just kind of play around and let's just see what happens here. Uh, we should start with ground, which I don't remember if I have one for the start, up, left, select, A, what else do we have here, shoulder, B, ah, here's my ground. It's one, it's a common ground for all the buttons. I'm just gonna, I don't know, I'm just gonna see what happens here. I'm thinking I'm gonna push them through, tape them on the back side to hold them, and just clip the tops off and get some solder on there. I don't know how well that'll show up, but that's it essentially. All right, so, I don't know. I'm just going to play around here, see what happens. So that's ground. Let's see if we can find left in this pile. Here's up. Looks like up is right there. And it's labeled on both sides. Nice. I'm sure there's much easier ways to do this. Uh, but I don't have the tools. I'm sure I can get them, but we're just playing around here. And what do we have left? Start. So that'll cover our main controls there. I'll wire up the 
the other controls I was talking about. That'll be in a much later phase of the project because I will have to cut holes into the Game Boy case to fit those buttons in there. So I'll probably do that. Um, probably do that with the one of the fabrication episodes down the line when we get to that point. Okay. Well, there's all of our wires. Just kind of got them bent over right now on top. Hopefully that comes out. I'll try to move it up closer here. Focus. And I'm actually going to trim inside of these. Just trying to get them tidy and organized for now. If I could one shot this, that would be freaking great. Probably going to put a piece of tape on this to hold all these in. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get a piece of tape ready for that. Here we go. Okay, let's get this piece of tape ready. Let me see what I can do about getting these wires organized somewhat. Try to get them as tidy as possible. Which is not always possible. Oh, that's actually looking pretty decent. Let's see if I can get this brown wire in there a little bit more. <laughs> this is so not ideal. All right, let me just hold those in place and see if I can at least get these to lay. I have to get a decent, there we go, there we go. Just a little patience and some finagling, finagling. I'm just going to put the tape on there just, just to hold them in place while I try to solder these in. I do need to trim all these. And there was probably a much easier way to do this. But it shouldn't be that difficult. I wanted to push them through and then trim them so they were in place. And what I'm thinking is I can just, you know, get some solder on there and it'll get into the hole and hold the wire. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if we'll see if it actually works that way. Okay, just a I know you can't see it on camera, but there's just a very little bit of wire left right there, which is perfect for getting our solder to attach. And I'm just going to do that for all of them here. Okay, on to the last one. And I hear the dinner plates are clanging. The timing is perfect. Get this last one in. We'll take a break. And when we come back, I uh, don't know if it'll be the same day. Of course, the last one's always... A difficult pain in the ass. Um, when we come back, we're actually going to solder these. I don't know if it'll be today or later in the week, but definitely before the weekend. Because I would like to test this. There we go. That was a much bigger pain than it needed to be, but that's the way it always goes with the last of anything. There we go. That's the last one. I'm just going to clean my wires up here and make sure nothing's touching, get it ready for soldering. We'll double check it again, too, but while we're here, it just takes a minute. 
Okay. Let's see if I can see if that'll show up on camera. What we did there. I really got to do something about the lighting down here. We'll get there. All right. Um, when we come back, we will solder that. All right. Well, we had some time after dinner to go ahead and make a go at this. Uh, this my initial GPIO pinout diagram was incorrect, and I went back and double checked it and remapped it according to the diagram shown now. Drew this out. Uh, it's written on a piece of something. I can't read what it is anymore because I wrote on it. But anyways, this is our diagram that corresponds to our uh, uh, marked wires here as well. So we're going to go ahead and solder this up. Oh, I bought a desoldering tool and it came with a... came with a soldering sand that's really hot. <laughs> uh, but didn't have one of those. I was using an ashtray before. Put that there for now. This here, where it is? Here's my solder piece. <clears throat> so, just like all the other ones, I'm going to start by heating up the area I'm going to apply the solder. I'm going to start by heating up the area I'm going to apply the solder to. I want it to stick to this little copper ring in here that the wire is coming through. There it goes. Started to go. Okay, now it's going. Just took a little bit of heat. That actually came out really well. All right, we're gonna move on to the B button. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna come down here and try to spread the heat out a little bit. So I'll come down here and do the ground button. Freshly clean tip, attempt two on the ground terminal. came out really well. Took a little longer than I would have liked, but that's all right. I don't know how many years I got left of doing this without getting a magnifying glass. There we go. There it is. All right, let's unplug this. And... Okay. 
Let that cool off for a minute here. Let's see if this will show up on camera at all. So that came out pretty well. Probably just gonna leave the tape on just to well, just to keep the wires together really. Might as well keep them rather nice and tidy. I may I'm probably gonna trim this up and make it look nice. But yeah, that's uh that came out really well. I uh, suppose we should do a test boot to make sure, uh, I'm not expecting this to work, I just want to make sure that it turns on <laughs> at this point. <laughs> There's a separate file we need to configure to even begin to get that to work, I believe, which we will cover as well, or at least my attempt of getting it to work. Alright, so off camera there I just kind of hooked everything up. Um, all I'm really looking to see here is that it boots up. Um, I'm not looking to control or configure anything right now. I just want to see that it turns on and does not destroy itself. Or if it does, it happens on camera and there you go. <laughs> so I'm going to plug this in and let's see what happens. Nothing's on fire yet. Uh, I need. I know I need to hit the number four key on this. I'm just gonna give it a minute to boot here. It works. <laughs> it works. It works. It works. Sweet. Uh, okay. Um, that needs to be configured. Um, we're gonna cut over to probably like a computer screen recording here, uh, doing that. Uh, all right. Cool.